day trading live this morning, walking you guys through the entire trade, my entry, my exit, talking about the plan, talking about how I found the stock and all that fun stuff. It's really, really simple and easy when you break it down. Day trading is not as hard as a lot of people make it seem. A lot of it is just repetitive, watching for patterns, watching stocks, finding setups. Day trading is a marathon and only the marathon runners will survive in the day trading world. That's really what it comes down to here, surviving, making money consistently and walking away and knowing when not to trade, when to walk away, when to take profit and all that. And it really just comes with time, doing it over and over and over to the point where you almost hate it, but you keep doing it and then you're finally like, okay, starting to figure it out. I'm starting to figure it out. But even then, once you figure it out, the market still slaps you in the face and you're like, okay, I don't know anything. And sometimes I feel that way. And then today I felt pretty good about my overall trade, my entry, my exit, everything was, was pretty good. You'll see the trade live. You'll see why I took profit, analyzing level two, the whole entire thing, day trading, real money, real trades. It's all happening on this channel. So let's get into it. Let's, let's go, let's do it, let's do it. All right, so jumping in here on SSC pre-market on this pullback there on the five minute chart, this thing's getting really tight there at the $4 area. So I ended up buying there at 415, 409, and then finally there at 397. So my average is 412 right now. I'm looking for this to push back above this 425 area and then start moving towards that 450 and possibly $5 there at open. That's my plan right now. And we're going to see if we can get it here. Getting some buyers set up there at 405. On the daily chart, there's some Previous support way back in the day, this stock has news about a new contract, a billion dollar contract, a lot of people trading it. It's already made a move from $2 up there to $5. If we can get some action here at open, once the market opens, get some action. You can see on the five minute chart that support there at the $4 area. So we're looking for this $4 area to hold here, pre-market and get pushing. You got 440 high on this candle here and then 450 there. But on the five minute chart over here, you can see the VWAP sitting there. Probably about 4.30 right now. I got the EMAs lining up there. So this stock SSC does have really big news. I think it's like a billion dollar contract or a couple billion dollars. All I saw was billions. They had a new contract worth billions of dollars. And well, you can see what we're getting here. We're getting that move. People are going to be chasing this. People are going to be trying to jump in there. It's going to be some serious FOMO. The stock's up over 100%. So everybody's going to be looking at it. Everyone's going to be watching it. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that action right there at open. Everybody jumping in FOMO style. Look at this push up there above 450 here. Getting some action there at the 425s. 430 sellers sitting there. I'll probably look to take half profit there above 430. Get one more little push right here. 431, 432. See if we can get this through there. Push through that 430s here and then look to sell half into that push up to the 450s. Look for us to push above 430 here with some strength and look to sell half into that push above 430. Then get above this 435 and get some strength here. Look for us to push above 435 up there to the 440s. Look to take half there. Nope. We're trying to get filled there at 430. Not getting filled there. 435. I'll have to hold it for a second. There's that 430 buyer. So it's pushing up there. Let's see if I can get a thousand there. Okay, we got a thousand there at 433. Perfect. Beautiful. And now we're looking to see if this can push up there above 440, all the way there to 450 or higher. So we already realized $200 here this morning and letting the rest ride. You got a thousand left there. And we're going to see what happens here. We already got, a, I got a thousand left there and got about 10 minutes till the market opens. So see if we can get this push and get this thing moving above 450. You can see on the five minute chart, this thing looking a little bit better on the five minute chart. Looking like it wants to get above that 450s. So that's kind of why I'm holding on to a thousand shares. They're also kind of above the VWAP now and starting to move higher. I think if we can break above 450, we'll probably get a quick, quick squeeze up there to five dollars, maybe before the bell opens, maybe before the market opens here. Let me see the five minute chart. This thing kind of starting to curl up, starting to curl up, pushing towards 450, getting that selling pressure there at 430 right now, trying to hold it down. Let's see if we can. The last low was down there, 411. See if we make a new higher low there at the 420s. So making that higher low here at the 425, let's see if that's going to hold. If we can hold this 425 area and get pushing, there should be a nice little pop right there at open. So that's kind of what I'm looking for here. Above that 450s, get a run up there to, towards $5. You can see the battle there, level two, 429, 430, seller sitting there. 
Looking for his push above 440s. You can see this previous kind of resistance. I'm going to pull this down here. That previous resistance there, the 440, holding it down right now, looks like. So if I think we can kind of get above this 440s, push up there to 450. Let's see if we can get it here. Big buyer there, 437. Right there at 440. Right there at 440. Just not wanting to go through there, even with that big buyer popping up. Let's see if we're going to push here. Big buyer again, 437 showing up there. So looking, looking strong here. I'm going to sell into that 437. Just not liking how that's not pushing through there. 440 holding it down for now. We'll wait and see what happens here at open. But pretty happy overall with that trade, kind of just locking it in there. There's that 437, that big seller, that big buyer just getting sold into. You saw how quickly that was just sold into. That should not be happening. So you can see making $458 there all before the market even opened. So not a bad start to the day. We'll see what else we can get here, what kind of action we can get. Let's see if this thing will spike above 440. Just not liking how it's holding there right below that 440 you saw that big buyer there 437 that really should have just spiked this right away with that size of buyer and that type of action it should have spiked right above that 440 and started to move up there to 450 which just wasn't really happening there so that's why i ended up just taking my profit making these higher lows higher lows all the way up there pushing to that 440 that resistance really just kind of holding it down right now but it's getting tight you can see how tight that's getting right there at that 440 is it gonna break we'll see that's that important trend here you got that 430 support basically the ssc needs to hold this trend line hold that 430 support and then push above 440 here to show strength to let people know that the bulls are in control i think if this breaks below 430 it's gonna be a nice little pullback pretty quickly there so there's that support there 430 trying to hold it it's going to be very important here. This 430 needs to hold. You're really watching that 430 area. Very important. Like I said, it's holding that trend. And that's what we want to see. On the five-minute chart, not looking as good right now. On the five-minute chart, you can see kind of that last little doji. And then forming almost a doji or the first kind of bearish candle there. So not holding that 430 there. And look at that pullback down there right there. Look at that. That's the pullback that I was worried about. That's the pullback that I was talking about this breaking this trend and look at it right down there drop 30 cents like that 30 cents just like that and that's what you got to be careful with pre-market the volume just really isn't there right now and like i said just something was going on there 440 with that big massive buyer there it really should have spiked it it really should have spiked above 440 pretty quickly once we were seeing that buyer sitting there but that buyer was getting sold into so somebody's basically sitting there at the 440 right now just kind of selling off shares holding it down if they could possibly be looking to go short, to short this back down there, you can see it's already up over 110% on the day, and it's kind of just holding it down right now. So there's a couple different ways. Somebody might be trying to hold it down because they don't want it to go higher because they want to buy lower. Somebody's trying to crash the price so they can keep buying at lower prices and then pump the price once the market opens. There's different ways that somebody could manipulate the price of the stock so they can get the price that they want. And when it comes down to it, when you're playing pre-market, when you're playing these types of moves, these low float stocks, remember, there's always somebody that knows more than you. There's definitely somebody out there who has something going on. Like I said, they're either trying to hold this down to go short or they're holding it down so they can load up shares at a lower price. It makes sense. So if I'm trying to load up, I'm trying to crash the price of the stock to keep buying lower because I don't want to be buying into the spikes. I want to be buying into the dips if I am, you know, really... If I really had large sides, if I had a big plan here, and that's kind of what might be going on right now. So somebody could have a plan here that we just don't know about. And at the end of the day, we're just kind of trading in and out of these moves. We don't really know what the overall plan is. What the plan, there's always somebody who knew about this news before. There's always somebody that's got a plan uh, that's a little bit bigger, a bigger picture plan than what we have. And let's see what happens here. If this thing can get above that 440, there's that pullback down there, 395 now, $4. So I feel... Pretty good about selling when I did. Just seeing what was going on there, level two, the resistance and all that was just, that was a red flag for me and I took profit, quickly got out of it. I could have been stubborn. I could have been very, very stubborn here. I could have held this thing. I could have told myself, oh, I'm gonna hold for the spike to $7. It's going to the moon. And I could have been that guy, but I've learned over the last two years that hoping and praying does not work with day trading. When you're day trading, you got to trade what's on the chart and what's happening. And there's that pullback down there to the 386 support from earlier. Let's see what's going to happen from here. That $4, like I said earlier, that 450 is kind of a key area. 
I probably wouldn't I wouldn't play this stock again today unless it really kind of just ramps up here and gets running above 450. But even then, I'm probably going to just stay away from it because I've already I've already had a nice little morning so far. And it's Monday, starting the week off green here, up $458 there on SSC. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm not going to complain about it by any means. I'm going to take my profit. I'm going to walk away. And I'm going to go handle business today. Do what I got to do in the real world. Sometimes you just got to walk away when you're up. When you're up green, you got to just walk away and know when to take your profit. And I think that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to walk away here, take my profit, and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But it is never a bad day. $400 is never a bad day. Just kind of looking really quickly. What else is moving? We got BBOX, SODA, BILI, a little bit of spike there, MOMO, nothing else really looking that crazy. We got this recent IPO, uh, weed cannabis stock, TLRY, moving around there. Uh, what do I got? IQ. A lot of big names moving this morning. Not a lot of small cap stuff moving. So that might be a good sign for me to just walk away as well as we're just not getting that action that we want. Not liking the action. So I'm going to go ahead and stay away from it. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to walk away green today. I'm going to walk away green. $458. I'll talk to you guys later on. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And well, leave a comment. What stocks did you trade today? I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs>